Kopari came out with some new gradual self tanners, one for the body in mousse form, and then a face serum that is also a gradual tanner, so it's like a two in one. And can we talk about the packaging first of all? Both of these are like liquid gold, which is signature Kopari. I feel like it was a matter of time until they came out with some sunless tanners. It is right up their alley in my opinion, and I was just waiting for this to drop. I mean, how stunning is this? And this is a glass bottle, this is your plastic foam bottle. And then they also sell a mitt. You can buy it as a bundle and get a discount. You can buy just the foam with a mitt or each one separately. I'm actually gonna reapply it today because I wanna deepen my tan a little bit. This is just one layer. This is kind of what it looks like if you just wanted one layer. I feel like it gives a pretty, pretty decent tan, like a nice flush of color. For being a gradual tanner, I feel like just this right here I'm very happy with this, but I want to make it a little bit deeper. So I'm going to do one more layer, and I was actually lucky enough to kind of test out both of these products ahead of time. They sent me these cute little samples to test it out. So this is not going to be a first impressions. I'm pretty familiar with them. I basically used up all of the mousse, and then I still have a little bit of the facial serum here. So this right here, like I said, it's a two-in-one. It has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and I prefer these so much more than like your typical tanning drops that you have for the face. I will say out of the two, this one is... 100% one of my favorite self tanners out there for the face. It's a very watery, lightweight formula. It has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and it's just such a great serum to give you a really gorgeous, radiant glow. Just using this one time, you'll wake up with like a really gorgeous, radiant glow. It's not over the top. It is literally the perfect amount. And then obviously, if you want it to be a little bit darker, you apply once again. And for me, and I feel like a lot of people will be able to relate to this, my face is always the whitest part of my body. Even when during the summertime, it just doesn't get as tan. You're always trying to protect it. You're wearing SPF more on your face than anywhere else, I feel like. And so this is just like a really great product to have to use literally throughout the entire year. I, I really love it. It's super lightweight, very easy to use. I'm not going to apply it right now because I have a little bit of, do I have makeup on? Yeah, I do have a little bit of makeup on. And then this right here, I do like it. There's only one thing that I don't like about it. But let's start off with the formula. This right here is a mousse, but it's a lot more liquid than your typical mousse. Give it a good shake first, by the way. And I recommend getting this mitt because this mitt is super thick. I made the mistake of using a mitt that I already had and it leaked through and it can stain your hands. So this mitt is very thick. So highly recommend this mitt or maybe you already have one that's like really thick. Let me get in the sun a little bit so you can see, but it's very hydrating. It has this delicious guava, kind of like a fruity scent to it. But I don't know if you can tell, it does not have a guide color. I've used so many different self tanners, but I love me a guide color because then I can see exactly where I'm applying it. I can see if I missed any spots. And so the only thing I don't like about this self tanner is that I can't tell if I missed some spots. There are a few spots that I did miss somehow. I don't know, I feel like I tried my hardest to really rub it in everywhere, but somehow I missed a few spots and then it's very hard for me to get a really perfect, perfect tan around my hands. So if you guys have any tips, definitely let me know. With a guide color, I'm able to see like where I placed it, where I need to apply some more with this. Not so much. So I am kind of struggling around my hands. It's kind of like a little bit of a dead giveaway. So that would probably be the only thing that I'm personally struggling with. But otherwise, I think they did such a good job with the formula because it does hydrate, but it dries down completely. And I think part of that is because it has no guide color. If it had a guide color, then it probably wouldn't be able to dry down the way that it does. And it doesn't transfer. It's completely mess free for me. I would give it like an hour, I would say, for it to dry down completely because it does feel a little bit, not sticky, but like if you touch your skin, you can feel it a little bit. Within an hour, it will be dried down completely. And I feel like this is the only self tanner that I can actually put my clothes on and not feel gross. Like I can walk around for six hours with this underneath my clothes and not feel gross. Like I literally cannot feel it. It is very mess free. It doesn't stain my sheets. It hasn't stained my clothes, at least not that I have noticed. And trust me, I have tried my fair share of self tanners and this one, I love that it does not. It will eventually smell like self tanner. Like right now it smells so so delicious literally smells like a fruit paradise but eventually like as you're sleeping you know how you get that self tanner whiff 
it does smell like self tanner if you guys could see this in the sun right now it's like so glowy this is like signature copari you guys signature copari but back to what i was saying about the smell yeah there's any self tanner that has dha which this one has natural dha all of copari's products they try to avoid a list of certain ingredients like synthetic fragrances and all of this stuff that's not ne necessary in products so all of their products abide by their guidelines this is no different but dha is dha it's still going to give off a little bit of that self tanner smell this one honestly is not that bad there are some that are just like way too intense like you can take a shower and you'll still smell it this one's not that bad the place where i smell it the most is probably my hands i had my husband do my back because that's <laughs> i struggle with it and i was like i can't have any streaks i don't have a guide color so i can't see what i missed where i placed it where i did it so i just had my husband just like do my whole back and it's just so helpful if you have someone have them do your back just put this on top this is what i'm going to sleep in this little night satin nightgown from old navy and right now this color that you're seeing is from the first application because i did shower it off this morning which i will say when you do shower it off because it doesn't have a guide color the stuff like you know how you usually see the guide color washing off and it's like orange brown green whatever draining into your drain with this it's like super subtle so that's good as well but yeah i washed it off and this was the color that it gave me again it's like a very natural very natural tan it is a little bit leaning more orange so if you're super pale it might be a little bit orange-ish but i still feel like it's a pretty a pretty good natural color like it's not too intense and if you are light and fair skinned then you don't want to go too dark with your tan because then it can look super unnatural one thing that i noticed because this isn't super intense it is a gradual self tanner both the body mousse as well as the face serum tanning drops you build it up to your desired tan that you want but i feel like because of that it doesn't fade super patchy in my experience the darker you go once it starts fading because i'm naturally light skinned it's going to be so much more visible when it fades versus going with a more natural tan if you are lighter skinned fair skinned so that is a big plus and it also doesn't really clog my pores some of my favorite self tanners that i've used in the past they would like leave little black dots everywhere this one doesn't and then also the facial serum tanning drops don't break me out like they instantly dry down super duper lightweight once i take off my skincare i'll include a clip at the end of me applying those before i go to bed the following day i put on a pair of shorts just so that i can show you guys the tan and camera it's coming off like a weird green oh there we go this is kind of more what it looks like definitely gave me like a really really nice tan like i feel like i just came back from vacation kind of vibes it's still not like super duper duper dark but for me i think this is perfect like i probably wouldn't want to go darker than this because then i feel like it just would be super unnatural and then it would fade all funky I'm scratching myself here so it's red but i wanted to show you guys what the tan looks like a little bit up close like really good color payoff so this is two coats and i'm really happy with the color i feel like it looks really good a few things i wanted to note is on the second day i did notice a small stain on my sheets i'm wearing a white shirt right now and usually it will like stain my bra my shirt it doesn't really stain clothes honestly as much as other ones it's possible it's definitely possible but in my experience compared to so many other ones that i've tried this one dries down so much better and you do not feel gross at all i feel like just for that alone i would use this tanner because my worst thing with tanners is i hate how they feel icky and gross this one personally does not pretty decent color payoff you can definitely build it up love 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 the face tanning drops i think they're absolutely amazing that i'd recommend 100 percent but that one you do have to build up a little bit more than this one this one definitely has more color payoff than that one but you can use that serum like every single day just because of how light it is it has great skincare benefits in it so yeah that is my experience oh and then also the smell i don't really smell it a little bit on my hands but not really but yesterday <laughs> night my daughter's hugged me before bed and she's like you smell like ramen noodles <laughs> i literally started cracking up so i guess if anything you're gonna smell like ramen noodles for a little bit it does go away it doesn't really linger if you're super sensitive to smells then you will be able to smell it more but you know, it's a self tanner at the end of the day a self tanner is a self tanner all in all i think they did such a good job with the new sunless tanner line the only thing is i have to really really work on figuring out how to like do the hands because it doesn't have a guide color so i really struggle if you guys have any tips definitely leave them down below i tried doing a brush and it was way too intense just because i feel like it was too much and even then i kind of missed some spots so i definitely struggle so let a girl know if you have any tips for that but this time definitely looks better than the previous times so i feel like i am doing a little bit better we're getting there but yeah 
my legal coupon code for you guys down below. You can save. I think it's 15%. The code is 15 off Tosh if you've never purchased with this email before on Kopari.com. And yeah, that is my thoughts on that. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for clicking on this video and hanging out with me. And I hope to see you guys in future videos.